In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use actions to automate our timers with our slides. For example, starting a timer when we hit a certain slide, resetting a timer, or stopping a timer. Let's get started. Now what I'm going to do here is just show you how we can automate our timers. So let's add a few more slides here, just so we've got a few to do some things with. And our timer is currently running. So let's just go in here and stop it so we don't get too confused. So what we can do is we can add actions to our slides. What that means is when I click this slide, something will happen. So if I right click and I go add action, I can choose different actions here. Now there is an action palette, so let's just have a very quick look. And there's lots of actions in here as well. And these are all different things you can assign to a slide. But for now, we're gonna right click. We're gonna go add action. We're gonna go timer. And we're gonna choose our church countdown timer because this is our church countdown timer. And now once we've done that, we get a bunch of options. So we can start our timer when we hit this slide. We can stop it, we can reset it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to start our timer. We're gonna set our configuration. So you can edit your timer from in here. If I change anything in here, it will change it in here as well. I don't wanna do that because it's already set up. So when I click this slide, my timer will start. This slide, nothing's gonna happen. And this slide here, I'm actually gonna add an action for my timer, church countdown, to stop. And this slide, I'm gonna add an action for my church timer of my countdown to reset. Now, it's not gonna be very easy to see that it's reset here, but let's have a look. At the moment, our timer is not running, so we're gonna open this panel. If I click start, you'll notice it's started. If I pop that out and just move it down here so we can see. <coughs> so it's started. Here's my timer, it's running. I hit this slide, my timer is stopped. I hit this one and it's reset. So what this does is you can set up your presentation for your timers to happen automatically. So for your countdown timer on your MC spot, you might have your first slide for your MC spot where the person gets up, it might have like their name or it might have like a title, like announcements or something similar. You can assign the action to start the timer and then it'll show it on the stage display. So if I go back to our stage screen and we click this one here, it started our countdown and there is our countdown. If we click this one here, it's still there because it's running. If we click here, it's stopped, it's stopped and so it's disappeared and this one here will reset it. So it's pretty powerful stuff we can do once we work out and get our head around things because it means we don't have to go into timers and click start and remember to do that in the middle of our service while we're doing a hundred other things at the same time. So we can automate it. So MC spot, we might go start the timer on the first slide, flick through all our slides, and then the last slide, we might have stop the timer. Now what I generally do, and this is what I was talking about before, is if I go to say my Sunday 9 a.m. playlist, and this is my service, generally what I do to make my life easier is I will add in one more slide somewhere. So it might be, here's our announcements, Here's our countdown. And I might put one slide in here. So let's just add it really quickly. Add new slide. Before that countdown happens, we're gonna add on this slide, action, timer, this timer, reset. This timer, reset. And I add all of my timers to reset on that very first slide, just so I know they've reset at the start of the service. Now, what that means is that you just need to make sure whoever's running your pro presenter and your service doesn't go, oh, announcements, they're flicking through and then click this slide. They need to go through this slide and then to this slide. So just make sure you've got it set up well, that makes sense. This isn't the best example because if I click this, if I go from here and I click here, it's going to take off everything on my screen and then I'm going to my countdown timer. So we just want to be aware 
that might be okay if there's no one in the church at the time and you can do that and then start your countdown, countdown timer. But it's a great idea to have a reset somewhere because you'll see start, 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 reset. They're all back to where they need to be for the start of the service. If you forget that and these aren't back and this is still on, say, I don't know, 15 minutes left from last week, it's going to start from where it stopped last week. So just be aware it needs to be reset, but you can automate it. So that's lots of information about timers today. Hopefully that's helpful. Let us know in the comments or click the subscribe button if you've got any questions and we'll do our best to help you out. Thanks guys.